Trisha Paytas is addressing her status with Shane Dawson after some recent confusion on where she currently stands with him. In her recent podcast, she talked about not necessarily needing to revisit that chapter in her life, that so much time had passed that maybe it's been too much, that they can't ever really go back to having a friendship like they once did. Plus, she said that she wouldn't even really be able to be friends with him because she would probably be paranoid that him and Ryland would be talking bad about her behind her back. But the title of the video mentioned forgiving Shane and Ryland, which made people think that she really had, but her and Oscar explained on the recent podcast episode that it was just a little clickbait, not like magically always forgiven and they're friends or something, but it's just not the biggest deal to her anymore. Even last week with like, <laughs> I was like, oh God, whenever <laughs> I title something, I don't like, I do it. It's almost trolling. I don't know. I don't take it very serious. Yeah. You know, it's all like, cause then when you actually watch it, you actually understand what we actually say with context and stuff. Yeah. But then everyone just took the forgiving Shane title and oh ran with it. Gosh. And I was like, no, no, I know. <laughs> no, no. Like, it's fine. That's the clickbait like, 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 Yeah. I was like, like, I guess at the end of the day, as long as people are clicking. <laughs> I know, that's, yeah, but that, I was like, whatever. Trisha did end up saying that she was surprised by how many fans Shane and Ryland still have, as she thought a lot of people had stopped supporting them when Shane was canceled. But to her and Oscar's surprise, despite them not getting talked about too much on social media or her seeing their podcast clips and things like that, they're still bringing in the numbers on both of their channels. I'm kind of shocked about, hmm. <laughs> I'm not trying to say what I can cancel. I'm kind of shocked about how many fans Shane and Ryland still have. Like, is that sound weird? I'm not saying in a shady, mean way, but they still get like a lot of views on his podcast and people still ride really hard for them. Yeah. You never, I never see, like we talk about TikTok, like I always see clips from every podcast, never yeah. see clips from theirs. So I guess that's, I mean, I, I guess it's good that, you know, he still has, Just has that Yeah, and it's like, core you know, fan base. it's like a good, it's a lot of people and they're all like together. It's a community, you know? Right. All, so I guess that's good. I don't yeah, know. I don't know. Trisha also ended up talking more about Shane when she went on the Zach Sang show this week. He asked her a lot about past friendships and Shane Dawson specifically and asked if she would ever consider rekindling a friendship with him and Rylan now that they're about to be parents because Trisha had talked about wanting more parent friends. And she basically said that going back to being friends with them would be like going backwards in life and she just doesn't think that that is a good thing for her even if you look back at your relationship now with shane and rylan like yeah you mentioned that you're looking for parent friends and they're moving back to la mm -hmm. but was that transactional as you look back at it yeah i mean maybe that one's the hardest like david it makes sense like that was obviously we, we were never friends and i always said that in the vlog i was like i never felt a friendship with him but yeah shane you feel like i felt like that so i think that's why it was the hardest and um that one was a hard that was a hard one to like lose but I think in general, because I talked about it on my podcast too, where it's just like, oh, like, you know, it'd be cool because, you know, you're their parents and parents being a parent yeah. changes you and all stuff like that. But then it's like, do you want to go backwards? Because it's like, I'm such a different person. They're probably different people. And it's like, do you want to go back to a time where I was like, really like every, like, I don't know, like hurting and stuff. I feel like I'm doing so good now. Maybe like, don't go backwards. Do you know what I mean? Trisha talked about the fact that she never spoke to either of them again after they had their big blowout, but that her problem sort of was mainly with Rylan since at the time of their falling out, Rylan had done a podcast episode where he said that him and Shane were just unaware of everything that was going on between Jeffrey and Trisha, and he wished that Trisha came to them about it. I'm, I'm confused. I was taken back a little bit and mm -hmm. I understand like she's had drama with Jeffrey and Hair by Jay who has, Hair by Jay obviously said horrific things that I don't stand by, I don't support. The fact that I'm so heavily involved with this really does break my heart because I love Trisha so much yeah. and I understand maybe it's hard for her to express her actual feelings towards Jeffrey to us or the mm -hmm. gravity in which she's feeling feelings towards Jeffrey when she knows we're specifically friendly with Jeffrey. So maybe it's hard for her to like ask me to cut him off. But at the same time, I just, I can't read someone's mind. And the thing about this was that after this podcast came out, Trisha went on TikTok and said that she did open up to Shane and Ryland about the things that Jeffrey were saying to her, the way that he made her feel, but that Shane and Ryland didn't believe her and they were sticking by Jeffrey. It's really hurtful, but I just wanted to address a few things. The first being, why didn't Trish come to us about this problem that she was up? I did, right after it happened, continuously throughout, phone calls with Shane and you on my couch, telling you about, it's not it's not just drama, it's not drama. Like it's full on harassment, telling me to, to oh, there's a balcony jump thing. Like just being so mean, smack me. 
from my hand. I, I did tell you this. It's it's not drama. He says he's not a mind reader. Well, you don't have to be a mind reader because I told you guys multiple times and you know this. It's just straight up. It's it's actually crazy. Then he goes on to say we could have talked this out with her. Well, guess what? When he did text, he said, let's forget about it. And he ended it with, well, I didn't want to believe what you said about Jeffrey. How are we supposed to talk about it? So when talking about her status and how she feels about Shane and Ryland and all that drama from before, she does mention that her real problem was not with Shane. And I believe it's because of this podcast and how it made her feel. I mean, I haven't, when we had all the blowout, I just never heard from him, you know, I was talked about him on a podcast and then we just like never. Never, t that was yeah, it. Yeah, but it wasn't necessarily Shane I had an issue with, but it was, that's a whole other thing. Ryland. Um, just, I mean, it's like, it's to me again, I always say it's like, I'm not, I'm, cause I am truly over it. Like that's the thing, like all the stuff that happened, like I really, it just doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like to me, like I don't care about it. Like it doesn't matter. Trisha is just so past the drama and these people not focused on getting caught up in it again. She said that she would be open to having Shane and Rylan on her podcast. And she talked about this in her own show, but she says that's it. This stuff makes her think about the past and she's not trying to do that. She's only trying to be looking ahead from here on out. Even like Jeffrey, all those people, like I really, I, I don't think about it because it seems like it's not, I don't even think of me as that person or I don't even think of that time, you know what I mean? And that's not like a slight to anyone. It was just like, I don't recognize that person. I was a really unwell person. And it's like, I just don't even like to think of that era. It doesn't affect my life now. So. Is that time that's gotten you there? Is it becoming a mom or getting married? Um... Probably just becoming a mom. Like, I know that's like so cliche and it's like so weird, but that is like one thing where it's like, like life doesn't even make sense before. Trisha does think that Shane and Rylan are about to change though, as they are going to have this major addition into their lives with two boys. And she thinks that's what their focus will be on soon and nothing else before them will have mattered after they're in this world. And who knows what will happen? The internet is full of surprises and I could see if they ever did agree to go on her podcast after they have their boys that they could have a good chat and relate on parenting stuff and maybe they'll go back to being friends. Not that I think that she should, but I could see it happening. Like I wouldn't be surprised. I feel like if they were nice to her, Trisha would be like, okay, like, you know, all is well again. But then again, Colleen was a mom friend of Trisha's and clearly having kids wasn't some game changing thing for her. Clearly she still very much cared about other things and drama and talking bad about people and obviously so much more that she shouldn't have been doing. So even though Trisha says that having her daughter changed her for the better and nothing else mattered to her, it's obviously not that way for everyone. So who knows how it'll be for Shane and Rylan, but it doesn't seem like Trisha is stressed over it in the slightest, especially since she was talking about their friendship, saying that as much as she really did care for Shane and appreciated him being a friend to her when nobody else was really around, she can look back now and doesn't really think that he was as good as he could have been. And obviously, given how he took Jeffree Star's side over hers back in the day, that's certainly true. But she talked about the fact that when it came to Shane, much like David and that whole group, they never actually supported her like a good friend would. They didn't come to her shows or anything, and that definitely stuck with her. My tours, I was like, both of my tours, I was friends with very popular YouTubers, Shane, David, all of those dating someone, you know, none of them came to want any of my shows, not even the LA shows. And you were like the only one that came to my LA show. And I was like, that's a real friend. Even back then when I didn't know you that well, I remember you came and I was like, what a real friend to I come to it. my show. It was so cool. So I always think about that. I was like, man, because people are like, oh, don't you miss this friendship? Don't you? And sometimes you think you do. And then I'm like, but they weren't really friends because they never showed up. They never like came to my shows or anything like that, which is like weird, right? Trisha certainly hyped up that friendship with Shane back in the day because of the fact that she said nobody else was there for her. Nobody else was showing up for her. No one else was hanging out with her. But the more she talked about it with Zach, she certainly was saying that it was good for just that reason alone and not that him and Rylan were actually amazing people to her. But even with all that in the past, she's still rooting for them in a way as parents with this new chapter. She says she's happy for them. She thinks that they'll be good parents. She just doesn't think that they're meant to be friends. So that's how Trisha is feeling about these two since some people were wondering where she stood after seeing her last podcast title. And even though she did talk about it in there, it was all just getting cleared up here on Zach Sang's show. But let me know what you guys think about what Trisha had to say about Shane and Rylan. Do you think they will ever be friendly again? Could you see them going on her podcast? I personally feel like they wouldn't or maybe like Rylan would be down, but Shane wouldn't. I feel like Shane just doesn't do like interviews or like confrontation in any sort. So I don't know, but I guess we'll see. Let me know what you guys think. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.
Thank <laughs> you.